If Cito Gaston was little known before, Toronto's good fortune changed all that and forced the mild-mannered manager into the spotlight. All of that was quite a change for the former batting coach, who spent the better part of seven seasons quietly turning young but largely undisciplined pupils into accomplished major league hitters. Cito's success as a coach stemmed in part from his own experience as a player. He spent most of his ten major league seasons with the Padres. His best year in 1970, when he was an all-star. Having come up through the ranks, Cito had clearly earned the respect of his players. Cito is basically a laid-back type of person. Uh, I think what has really helped Cito is that his, his presence in the dugout is that he's very calm, he's very relaxed, and that presence, I think, has, has relaxed a lot of players on this team. My door is open, and I know managers say that all the time, but I think these guys really believe me when I say that, and if I do something, I just try to explain to them what I'm trying to do. Uh, if they disagree with it, with what I'm doing, we'll sit down and talk about it. An approach that also won him the respect of his pitchers. He comes out there and uh, talks to you and asks you how you feel, and therefore you have some input as far as whether or not you stay in the game. And as far as I'm concerned, uh, you have to have that kind of rapport with the pitcher. Most of all, you have to win. And under Cito, the Blue Jays would play the best baseball of any major league team, a turnaround for which he was runner-up manager of the year. Cito had weathered the storm. I think this is a good uh, training season for Cito. I mean, uh, to see what he's really made of, because we've had some adversity. Last year he took over and everything came up roses and uh, we won, and, and you know, that was good. Uh, but this year we've had some adversity, we've had some losing streaks, we've, had, we've struggled, uh, we've had some winning streaks. So it's, I think it was a good trial for Cito this year, and I think he's done a good job. Cito took over for Jimmy Williams in May of 89, and the Blue Jays posted the best record in the majors the rest of the way. But 1990 was a different story. I think you've got to have some challenges in your life and, uh, and some, you know, some good days, but you've got to have some bad days, man. You know, you know, it's a gamble. You, you do certain things when the game starts that uh, if the players can execute, uh, it's going to work. If they can't, then it's not going to work. But uh, I still give all the credit to the players because they have to do it. But, you know, I can put on a play, but they got to carry it out. By June, Cito's troops were running on all cylinders, posting some high-octane results. <laughs>